today on Fox Pros Fast and Furious. Fox Pros Abder Druckenmiller heads east in search of the craziest critters to chase a call. It's night hunting at its finest. And the action will leave you speechless. I'm trying to think what Kai was going through right now. That's what I'm talking about. Burn down, baby. Whoa. Get ready, you want him? From east to west, predators chase the call. Woo. They offer a fast action hunt that can leave you speechless. The best part? Opportunities are endless. No matter where you live, there's probably a critter waiting, sometimes in the most unlikely places. Few people consider the East Coast as a predator hotspot. That is, unless you live here. Suffolk, Virginia, we're about 10 miles north of the North Carolina state line. My hunting buddy Chris Ricks calls Virginia home. He's a fox hunting maniac with quite a reputation for taking gray fox. The temperature's falling pretty good. What have we got now? Fell 38. About 12 degrees in the last hour and a half. In total darkness, we head to a freshly picked soybean field. We kill a couple gray fox, stack them up in the bed of the truck, what he says, put some fur down tonight. That's right. Hornady baby, super performance ammunition. Go out here and see if we can't put one to the gray fox. It's gonna be sweet. We switch to night vision and sneak in for action. Here we go. This is Chris's first hunt of the season and my first shot at a Virginia gray. He says the fox are loaded on this private property. We turn on gray fox distress and scan the horizon for glowing eyes. Within moments, our first gray fox skirts the field edge. Holding up in the woods, Chris scans and spots a second fox already in the field. That's the thing about gray fox. You get doubles, sometimes triples when you set up and start calling. You could have a fox coming in from your left, from your right, behind you. You're focusing on this fox. And then you're running the light just to make sure there's nothing behind you. Bam, right there is behind you, stands one at 80, 90 yards. This one can't resist the gray fox in distress and closes the distance. I don't think he's coming any closer. He's just going left to, right to left. All right, he's going go downwind. Ahead. We'll go ahead and take him. Go ahead and stop him. for a double, but this fox won't sit still for a shot. Still, in less than 10 minutes, I bag my first Virginia gray fox. Look at that. Pretty. That's a young one. Oh, man. Look at that. Couldn't fur it off for this time of the year, you know it. Something about these gray foxes, it's just all the colors they have. They got some white and red and the gray, and then they get the, the black tip that comes all the way back down their tail, man. There's a lot just... of people mistake them because of this red right here. They call them a red fox, but mm -hmm. that's a pretty that's Virginia gray fox gray right there. Fox in Virginia. We're off to prove nice the first male. stand that's wasn't a fluke. My goal is to take one of these crazy grays with the shotgun. When you see the eyes come out, it's just, the thrill of it is you don't know what it is yet. Whether it be a fox, a bobcat, or a coyote, until it gets up there closer where you really know what it is. 
This fox holds up and barks at the call, a sign that he won't come any closer. Double, but if only this fox would stop to present a shot. Still, we're two for two, and that ain't bad. That's what I'm talking about. Coming up, we've only just begun. Abner grabs his shotgun, and the Greys get close and personal. Then, the pressure is on Chris. Will this Predator Pro hit his mark? You're about to find out. You're watching Fox Pro's Fast and Furious. Tell me to shoot him. Gray Fox are some of the craziest predators to ever chase the call. My first two stands with Chris Ricks in Virginia proved to be just that. Crazy. So far, we are two for two, and these greys are still on the move. Luckily, the night is young. My goal tonight is simple. Call one in within shotgun range and put them down. We set up on the edge of a field and hit the call. Turns out, we made the right move. This gray is coming hard. It's just so cool whenever you see those eyes for the first time when they pop up at like 200 yards. And then all you see is just hopping, bopping in there the whole way to the call within 20 yards. It don't get no better than that. It just don't. At 30 yards, I decided enough is enough. <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome, man. Dude, that was crazy. I can't believe how we come down that road. Right to us. We just been yeah. at The old heavy shot dead guy who did the number on that one right there. Look at that. Right in the path. Woo. Pretty gray right there. Another little female. Another one. Man, that was sweet. Well, how long were we even playing the call there? Maybe a minute. <laughs> You're Maybe. like, right here. Maybe a minute down tops, the road. and he come right down the road. With three fox already on the ground, we get back to work. I trade in my gun for the Light Force Spotlight and prepare to scan. I love the call and run the light. I don't know why. I mean, I, I, I enjoy shooting, but when I'm calling, I feel like I have them on a on a doing a string that are just coming into the call and running in that light it just it does something to you i enjoy running the light it's up to chris to keep our perfect streak intact again the gray fox in distress does it Only the cover proves to be too thick. Just like that, the streak has ended. But we waste little time. Jumping fields, the action takes a turn. This time, it's a coyote. I switch sounds, hoping to draw it closer. So many times I've got fixated on one animal and he may take five minutes 
and you forget about the rest of the field. You're running the light just to make sure there's nothing behind you, and bam, right there's behind you, stands one at 80, 90 yards. Over here, Chris, come from the fog, over here, great fog. We had to work for that one. Oh, there he is. There he goes there, man. Good deal. Nice shot, man. That was a poke. That's a nice, pretty gray. What is it, a male? Yep, another male. Another male. <laughs> I don't know what the deal was. Was that a coyote that came in here on that stand? He come in there and oh, no, kind of... Real, real shy. He wanted to keep his distance. He never would come in. Well, I'm telling you what, you guys are covered up in gray fox down here in Virginia. Just like that, we are back on the board. Up next, predator hunting takes on a whole new meaning when it's tournament time. Chris Rick shares his winning strategy to take a ton of fur in a short amount of time. You're watching Fox Pros Fast and Furious. You're watching. Fox Pros, Fast and Furious. Predator hunting at night is a team effort. One guy running the light and the other guy on the gun. One of the key and things to remember when running the light is to put the light over top of the shooter's head so the eyes are reflecting back to him. That way he can positively identify the target and take the shot. Try this on your next stand and I think you'll like the results. If you want to take predator hunting to a whole new level, you might just enter a predator hunting contest. A marathon hunt spanning two days. Just know, if you enter one in Virginia, you might have some tough competition. My buddy Chris Ricks might be one of them. I've killed as many as 17 grays and a bobcat in a 24 hour hunting span um, between a Friday and a Saturday. So that was, um, that was pretty awesome. What makes it more impressive is how he does it. To get into the tournament aspect of it, it's very fast paced. The longer you sit around and talk, the less you're gonna kill. It's, it's time, time is money. You, you have to go from one spot to the next. It's, I try to lay my spots out so I never backtrack. Your four main predators are your gray fox, your red fox, your bobcat, and your coyote. Um, you get one point for gray, you get a point and a half for red, Two and a half, four bobcat, and three, four coyote. Woo. When the contest begins, he is all business. The more spots, the more land you have, the more access to land you have, it just increases your odds. I probably have somewhere around the ballpark of 100 spots that I can hunt at any given night. All about the numbers. The more chances you have, the more chances you have of killing. I use a, a spotlight anywhere around a three million candle power with a red lens. The cleaner you keep the lens, no scratches, the better it is. Light is real key to it. If you're out here in the dark, the red light don't give you a lot of light, but you need every little bit you can to make the shot in the scope. I don't take no chances of it might be a coyote or it might be a fox. I'm gonna know 100% what it is you know, before we shoot at it. Shoot, scan the field, turn your call on for maybe two minutes. There may be something else around. Nothing else shows up. Turn the call off, go get him, put him in the truck, and off to the next spot. Chris is a very successful contest hunter. He's been doing this for a long time, but again, he has access, and that's why he comes out of these contests successful and as the contest winner a lot of times. I love the competitive side of it. Um, it's just the adrenaline, you know, to know that everybody is out there to win one thing, and you just have to excel to try to put yourself above them. Still to come, the boys head out for another night in Fox Country. The question becomes, how many can you call at one time? And how close will they get? You're watching Fox Pros Fast and Furious. Town of Suffolk. 
It offers some of the best gray fox hunting in the country. Thick, swampy habitat and small crop fields make for a perfect gray fox setup. These crazy fox seem to be running about everywhere. The first night of my fox hunt with Chris Ricks proved to be the ultimate night out. Fast action and tons of it. The best part? We still have one more night. As the sun sets, we look to raise the bar and call them in even closer. In order to hunt at nighttime with a spotlight and a rifle, you have to have written permission from the landowner to be able to hunt his property. Really? Yep. Do you have any of those Yeah, slips? I've got these forms printed out here, and I get them, and it just tells them uh, my name, my address, um, I give them my telephone number. So how many, uh, how many permission slips do you figure you got signed? Um, I probably have close to 100. Wow, so a lot of access. Yep. We waste little time, starting right after sundown. The plan is simple. Play Gray Fox Distress on our Fox Pro and wait for them to charge the call. When you're scanning that field and you see those eyes, the first time you hit them, you're like, you squeak because it's so instinctive because you're letting everybody know, hey, I got something right here. And it just, the blood starts running and it's on. Come from a long ways before he ever got here. But he come, that was a poke out there from shotgun, but I, I knew it was gonna happen. Yeah, he was, he was gonna, gonna get behind closer. us and then he was gone. Yeah, just gonna make sure he's not laying over there. I don't think he is. That was quite a poke, but we'll gonna make sure. We missed out, so we're gonna keep going. They're running. Let's we'll try and yeah, get another one. Coming to the call. So we move on, hoping to change our luck. This time, Chris takes the rifle. Instantly, we spot two sets of eyes. In front and behind us. Again, we shake our head in disbelief. That fox came to 15 yards. In a game of inches, we accept the missed opportunity as part of the hunt. After two nights of hunting, it all comes down to this last stand. When I'm running the light, I scan the field very fast. When they get eyes, they're gonna stand out like tractor reflectors. Instantly, another fox jumps into view. Then another. Gray fox are a true description of what this show is all about. Fast and furious. That was fast, that was furious. Give me some crap. That baby right there. And don't get no better than that. That's a big old gray right there. Pretty gray fox. For a female. For a female. Look at that. They're just cool looking. Man. That was sweet, dude. Oh, right there's number two. There he is. Look at that. Maybe that's, a male? Again, that's a big one there. Big old male, he's running the roost out here. Yep, he was probably This the is the one here. that came from way out there, the way, the whole out. way in. He was probably 300 yards when we first he was probably him. He was probably thinking, what's going on with my turf? Way to seal the deal on a double right there, Chris. That Thank was you, awesome, man. man. Appreciate it. Thanks for having us down here. It's been a blast. Thanks for coming, man. <laughs> I think I got him about figured. Yeah. <laughs>